It has been all about getting to this stage, and two teams have made it. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Stuart Robson. We're just moments away from kickoff time in the UEFA Europa Conference League final. It is Vitesse up against Rapid Vienna. Well, Derek, we've got two very good teams here. Both like to play on the front foot, both have some great individuals. This should be a really entertaining game. I'm looking forward to this one. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Using space on the opposite flank now. This attack looks highly promising. Opportunity to deliver the cross. That still could be dangerous. And problem solved for now. Danilo Duki. Adrian Girvic. And showing fine vision. And the keeper won't be complaining about that cross. Poor quality. Creative look about me. Oh, he's through here. And they slot at home. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here it is again. And credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right, he knew what he was doing there. He plays it short. Maximilian Hofmann. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Well, they do like to press wherever they can. Really good. And will that be the leveler? Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, as the replay shows, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Adrian Gervic. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. And that's sound goalkeeping. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity.
Cemi. Taxiakis Puntas. Options in the middle. Now to the front post. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Potential danger here. Batting. It's with Vitek. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Taxiakis Funtas. Effective pressure to regain possession. Well, he's beaten his man comprehensively. Shot attempted. And a buy off. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, he's blocked it! Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. And it's a quality pass. Well, nothing productive, really. Throw-ins given. Puntas and a fine cross cleared away an authoritative challenge not much time to make up his mind good pressure to win the ball back and just has to remain calm and there it is they take command in the final and just look at the celebrations here Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Matusz Bero. Openda. Defensive efficiency personified. Demir. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Openda. Making excellent progress with the ball in this feet. Can they cover up? Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. Well, when you see those stats, it's amazing how they're struggling in this game because they've created so many now, chances. Hold on, Stuart. They're in here. Well, here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. Well, 
Palace of Salem. Four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Biting. And do they mean business on this occasion? Oh, that's a really good run. And blocked for now. Demi here. Christoph Knazilner spraying passes around almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Can he do it? There it is! The goals keep coming! No stopping them today! Well, here's the replay, and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space. And then, of course, the finish. That's a great bit of play in the box. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1, Cutley. Christoph Kassmüller and possession given away. 20 minutes to go in this one. Biting. Can he do it from miles out? And the referee has given them a corner. Decided to make a change. Now sending it in. No nonsense clearance. Is it going to be? Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Ten minutes left for play. Ljubicic. And play holds it. Free kick given. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, five minutes remaining, but you just feel this is over. He's in here. Surely, oh, a superb save. Not giving him a moment's peace. Cross it in here. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made.
Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club.